In this question, we are required to find the concentration of a double-stranded DNA sample, which we have in a cuvette with one centimeter path length. And when we do the experiment, we get an absorbance of this DNA sample of 0 0.457 at 260 nanometers. And that is because the bases in the DNA absorb at this wavelength. We also know that uh, if we had a 50 microgram per milliliter DNA solution, this would give us an absorbance of one exactly at 260 nanometers. So what is the concentration of this DNA sample? Well, that's not terribly difficult. What we can do is we can say, okay, we know that we've got 50 microgram per milliliter sample and this would give us an absorbance of 1.0. Uh, but we don't have an absorbance of 1.0, we actually have an absorbance of 0 0.457. Now we need to find the corresponding concentration, let's call that x, and we basically have now uh, two equations and we need to find x. So what we can do is we just simply divide the left hand side and the right hand side by each other and solve for x. So we would get x equals 0 0.457 times 50 microgram per milliliter and we can put that into a calculator and we would get 22.85 microgram per milliliter for the concentration of our sample. Now the question is, is the sample uh, pure? And for that we can use the ratio so we can use the ratio of the absorbance at 260 nanometer divided by the absorbance at 280 nanometer. And we take the value 260, so that is 0 0.457 divided by 0 0.246 at 280 nanometers, and that gives us 1.86 roughly when we put that in the calculator. Now, if the this ratio is larger than 1.7 and smaller than say around 1.9, the sample is considered as fairly pure, fairly pure sample. If it is smaller than 1.7 or larger than 1.9, then it usually indicates that there are some contaminants in it, uh, which absorb the either at 260 or 280 nanometer, and it indicates that the sample is not poor, but in our case here with 1.86, we can be fairly confident that the sample is reasonably poor. So I hope this makes sense, and thank you very much for watching.